Okay, so we've got Angels, Mets, 5 nothing Angels, runners at first and second, one out in the bottom of the fourth. We've seen some really, really crazy things throughout the entire year with the Mets. Here, Lindor is at second base. He's trying to steal third right here. McNeil is going to trail him at first. You can see he starts to run, but then he slams on the brakes. So at this point, we have Lindor, who tried to run, wanted to steal third, slammed on the brakes, didn't get a great jump. But the problem is McNeil never stopped. So McNeil just continued to run to second. So what happens is anytime you have first and second and you have a steal, guy on second base is stealing, the trail runner is going to follow. So if this guy steals, you steal. But here's the thing. You have to keep your eyes up because if he goes to steal and then stop, well, then you've got to stop as well. You can't continue to run because then we get in this situation where we have two runners standing on one base. Now, here's the strangest thing about this is that the catcher comes up right here. We've got two runners at second base. And for some reason, the catcher, inexplicably, I don't know why, he throws the first. I've never seen this before. If you can figure out why he does this, put it in the comment section below. The catcher throws the first. He just lobs it over there. I don't understand it. So now once he makes that throw, Lindor is going to take off here. Now the pitcher, for some reason, again, I'm not sure why. I know I always yell at pitchers. I say, if you're standing still, you're doing something wrong. Well, he takes this quite literally because he starts to sprint the third and gets drilled in the back of the head with the throw from the first baseman. Now Lindor scores. McNeil goes to third. And thankfully, we don't have a serious injury here because he got absolutely crushed in the back of the head. So a lot of wacky stuff going on here. Let's look at this again. So here we'll see Lindor, right? So he, he's trying to time it up. He goes to steal here. He takes two or three hard steps. Bang, slams on the brakes again. Runner at first has to keep his eyes up, see that the runner at second stops. Now you've got to stop. Right? Catcher comes up here to throw here. Realize, okay, I don't have him, but hold on a second, I've got two runners there. At this point, you're not going to throw the ball. All you need to do is start to run this way. As you run this way, Lindor is going to start to sneak off. Now, he's either going to take off for third. If he does, you throw it to third. If you start to run this way, you take this angle to get him to go here. If he starts to go back, now we've got two runners there. Now we can just continue to run him and tag both runners. If one of the runners takes off, we can make the throw depending on who runs where. But to just lob the ball to the first baseman, I don't, I don't, I've never seen that. I have no idea. And again, if you're the pitcher at this point, he looks like he's, for some reason, he's going to third base. I don't know why he's going to third because we have the third baseman there. I don't know if he's going to back up for the rundown, if there is a rundown. But the first thing is you've got to get out of the way. You are in a direct path of the throw to third base. So you've got to get out of the way. And as the first baseman, I mean, you're just throwing the ball. You see the guy running, you're throwing it to the third baseman. The chances of the ball actually hitting a pitcher in the back of the head, I've never seen it. Never seen, I've never seen that before. Never seen it. So crazy play. Let me know if you've ever seen anything like this before or if you have any idea what's going on because I honestly don't. I've broken this play down. I don't know what the catcher was doing. I don't know why the pitcher was in the line to third. Get out of the way. I'm just confused. At least for Mets fans, the Mets were on offense this time and not on defense. So that's all I have. Put in the comment section below if you know what's going on. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Thankfully, he's okay. And we'll talk to you later.